Hey guys, how are you going? This is a channel called Holding the Ball. Um, before I start, I just want you guys to know that I, I actually used to do um, some footy stuff, league stuff um, a few years ago, but I uh, just do some things I sort of stopped. Um, not, not that I had much viewers anyway, so you're probably, most of you guys are probably going to be new anyway. So again, just welcome. I've also been sort of wrestling um, with myself in regards to trying to perhaps set up another, you know, Warriors fan-based uh, sort of YouTube channel, and um, here we are. So I'm, um, yeah, about, you know, uh, eight games in, um, better late than ever, and uh, yeah, I'm just glad to be back. So let's get straight into it. So um, as you guys know, we beat the uh, Cowboys 24 points to 20 in probably what can be described as a game of literally two halves. Um Absolutely, we were brilliant in the first half, and I think uh, that's probably kudos to some of the uh, ad lib sort of you know heads up footy. It was sort of just random, very all over the, the place. Uh, our attack, and it sort of came, you know, it sort of came uh, to fruition. So we got scores from Cody, we got scores from uh, Rocco Berry, which was awesome to see. Um, we got a try from Ben Murdoch Masilla, who was absolutely phenomenal till he got a. Uh, uh, subsequently injured from uh, Tamalolo um, in what I think was an accident. Some people say otherwise. I can see where you're coming, but uh, I think personally it was an accident. I don't think JT will deliberately try and, you know, elbow uh, Murdoch Masilla's head, particularly when they are also teammates too for the Tongan team. Um, I just also want to point out as well that uh, the Warriors back line, uh, I think all up in total had around 400 and from one, so from Roger Tuivasa-Shek to uh, Cody Nikarima from 1 to 7, they had about 445 games worth of experience there. And from a 1 to 7, that's not that, that's not that big at all, is it? So, you know, you got some teams who are 600, 800 plus in terms of, uh, you know, game back, um, in terms of gaming experience, you know. So, again, debuts as well from Edward Cossey, it was, it was good. Um and also Rocco Berry and Reese Walsh playing their second only ever uh, first grade game. So we've got to put those things into context as well. Understanding that uh, this team has been never been the same right since round one. We've always swapped. It's always been Adam Fanor in, you know, at one stage. Then he was out. Ewan Aiken in for the first round. Then he's out, you know, sort of swapping in. We've had uh, Murchi playing. We've had Hiku playing. So, you know, this team is... I, I guess we're sort of still trying to puzzle things together. It's probably the best way to explain it myself. Um, so we shouldn't get too, um, I guess, uh, bothered. Um, although, yes, we want to win and it was good we won, but we shouldn't get too, too bothered, you know, by by this result here. Um, understanding that in context, in the greater scheme of things, this was probably um, to be expected, I guess. Um, so, yeah, let, let's uh, let, let's sort of just get into it, yeah? So, uh, yeah, we, we beat the Cowboys. Um, so the team, so the team uh, sort of stats are where top errors in the game, particularly at second half, woeful. A lot of drop balls, um, Arfoa, uh, Walsh, um, and I think even Sirenin at one stage. So there's a few little errors here in the handling errors, which definitely could have cost us the game. Uh, penalties, well, we had one. Missed tackles, we had 11. So, so again, considering, you know, the inexperience out in the backs, we did okay, you know. Um, possession 54, completion 83. We normally compete, uh, complete, you know, at around that level, if not a bit higher. So, you know, again, it is what it is. And tackle breaks we had all up was about 30. So generally speaking, it was a good rough and tumble sort of a game. Sort of a game that you probably expect, especially with the youth and exuberance that we have now, especially Walsh uh, and Barry. Now, if somebody can actually <clears throat> tell me the age of uh, Edward Costi, that'll be good. Um, I think he's 22 or 19, I'm not sure. But um, yeah. So we're just going to go, um, but yeah, they're sort of like the overall game and how it basically panned out uh, for us against the Cowboys. All right, so player stats. Uh, runner meters was RTS, of course, Captain Roger, of course, Superman. <clears throat> uh, 224 uh, runner meters, again, what, 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 am, what, what am I going to say that the other Warrior fan has not said, right? So we'll just move on. Post contact meters, again, RTS 65 meters. Tackle breaks, RTS with eight, and just the way he just broke those tackles and ran around, just, oh man, you know what, it just, you know, it's, it's, it's a real pity he's, uh, he's actually going um, next year, you know, like end of this, this year, it's, anyway. 
line breaks Cody had too. And I, and I thought Cody played really well in the first half. I, th I thought he and Walsh definitely showed something that could potentially be, uh, I guess, showcased. But, but then again, you got to realize we don't have uh, Charles, uh, you know, Chanel Harris Tavita and even O'Sullivan, you know what I mean? So, so there's always going to be that dynamic of, of puzzle switching, right? Like it's, it's always going to be there. Um, it's unfortunate, but that's just what it is, right? We just got to make our wins count every week, I guess is probably the, the best way to go about this. And all up in terms of um, tackles, uh, so sorry, yeah, and, and tackles was Wade Egan. He had 51 tackles. Again, I see on social media um, a lot of Warrior fans who are probably some who are for Egan, some who are who don't like him. I would say probably the majority are probably on the on the side of not liking him. I think myself personally, he's all right. Like I think he does a lot of the hard yakka, you know, like defensively. Fifty one tackles, and he had zero misses by the way. So I think um, a lot of the fans who are against him, I guess it's probably you know because they probably don't see the the. the to play the ball be fast, you know, the way he distributes the ball, perhaps, perhaps he's had some attacking errors, and you know, don't get me wrong, he's had some defensive ones too, but I mean, overall, I don't think he's that bad of a player as we potentially, or perhaps make him out to be, um, that's just the way I look at it, uh, personally, um, give me your thoughts though, tell me what you think, I, I personally think he's okay, so that's just my thoughts anyway, and uh, yeah, that, that's it for the team as well as player stats as well, again, just RTS, right, I'll probably give him uh, if I was to rank from one to three, who were the best? I'd say um, at number three we had uh, probably uh, Reese Walsh. I'd say was good. Then we had Toy Harris, number two. He was phenomenal again. Just uh, I think he he scored the most fantasy points too. By the way, in the team, so he was very phenomenal. And number one again, Captain Roger Toy Basashek, who actually leads the daily M's, By the way, all draws more so with uh, Cleary and Latrell Mitchell is going to have his taken away, I believe, uh, due to a suspension. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, Captain Roger, right, leading the way. All right, so before I get into Manly, I just want to sort of uh, do a bit of stats for our uh, players, uh, especially our young ones, right? So we had Reese Walsh in his second game, who had 103 run meters, and he was so zippy, wasn't he? Uh, I, I sort of just remember some of his breaks he made and just that you know, off the cusp sort of footy, he is made for it. I am so happy he's in the team. He just brings some sort of just new sort of attack to our team that's been missing. Uh, sort of reminds me of the Warriors of old, right? With uh, Sean Johnson back in the day when Sean Johnson was, you know, younger. Um, but I tell you what, this kid just has something, you know? He just has something, and I'm just so happy that Nath Brown actually managed to get him over to play, to play with us. So um, kudos again to you, coach. But um, yeah, just great work. And his kicking game as well. You can tell again, he, he there were stages there where he was just kicking for the sake of kicking and some stages where he was actually deliberately, you know, trying to get <clears throat> us somewhere. The kick where he kicked it high up and Carl Felt dropped it. That was a beautiful sort of a kick. Um, I think our players probably need to do more to protect him. So maybe get in front of him a bit, you know what I mean? Like how some of the other players do it. So players have to run around him. We've got to protect them all because that hit by Cohen Hess on him uh, may or may not have been late, but point being is he got hit, he got smashed, right? So we've got to protect our players. Um, again, just the normal head, one try assist as well, passing it through that run, um, or passing the ball to um, uh, Benny, Benny Murdoch, Masilla, and uh, it was just awesome as. So again, just just great, great second game. It's the second game, he's 18 years old. He's a, you know, he, he's, a, he's a boy from Queensland, right, from the Gold Coast. Just got to be happy as, eh? Um, Rocco Berry, um, Kiwi player, Kiwi Kiwi kid, um, second game ever, seventh ever in his life, seventh ever game. How many of us, or how many of you, or how many of the professional league players can say that in their seventh game, two of them have been first grade? You know what I mean? Just, just phenomenal. And and look, I guess yes. In context, injuries. You know, in context, that's just probably the reality. But the point being is that he's taking full advantage and he's giving us a red hole go. And just today as well, he got his uh, extension, his, his contract extension as well, which helps him and us know that we have players that we're trying to uh, use for our future. It secures us. So again, awesome as. So he had 107 one, uh, run meters. He had one try, six offloads and 12 tackles. And some of those tackles too were very crucial tackles as well. 
So again, it shows you that he is developing. He's only 19 years old. He's only played his seventh. This was the seventh game of his life. You know what I mean? Like, you've got to give the kid time to move, time to move forward, and time to get better. But I'll tell you what, these are definitely positive signs. And I'm happy that he's actually got a contract uh, extension. And I just can't wait. You know, it's, it's a good thing. So I look forward to seeing Rocco Berry. How will the coach pan things up when Aitken and Huku are back? Not too sure. That's why I'm not the coach. But I'm just saying, I appreciate the work of Rocco Berry. And uh, our debutant for yesterday, Edward Kossi, who had 128 run meters, uh, two tackle breaks, and four tackles. I think, personally, he added a bit of pace to the wing. Um, especially with Fusitor being out and Fusitor dealing with hamstring injuries, according to Nate Brown. It's sort of, it was just good to see him sort of run, you know, and 128 meters in your first game. That's not a bad effort, especially for a winger, you know, like it's good. And I just think he had a good game. Um, I guess you got to also say as well that there were some tries he definitely let slip. Um, I think it was part of the reason why we were close at, at one point. However, the onus is not on him solely, but, you know, like it was just good. You know, it's your first game, you get out the nerves, you know, you get the nerves out and you hope for a better showing the next game. So, Again, Edward Cossey, good work. All right, so Manly. <clears throat> we got Manly. They beat us by one point last time we clashed them. And uh, that was a game where uh, Tommy Trevovich was not playing. So uh, it's going to be a very uh, tight contest, this one. I believe we play them at Lodo Land, um, which doesn't, um, I guess, bode well for us. Because, you know, they're, they're a very tough team. And they're just actually coming around. You know, I mean, they lost to, Matt, to the Panthers, sure. But, I mean, Panthers are looking red hot, right? Like, I think uh, they're probably on the tier on their own. But um, what matters is winning the uh, premiership. So, we'll see how that one goes. But, uh, yeah, Manly, again, looking forward to that match. Should be a tight contest, I think. But, um, look, um, I'm trying to put on my optimistic Warriors hat. But uh, I think... Uh, if it's not tight, then they may run us out of the park. That's what I'm going to say. You know, I think it's about us keeping it tight. Um, I just don't think, again, you know, we, we just haven't had that chance to really mend with our combinations, eh, you know? Um, I don't even know who Nath Brown's going to choose for this week. I don't know. Um, he could potentially go with O'Sullivan this time. Like, we just don't know. You know, in the week before that, when we burst the storm, we had Serenin at one stage ringing the halves. It's just, you know, it's just crazy. But I think it's, it's awesome because... Slowly but surely, our team is coming back. And Eden Fanua should be back hopefully sooner than we think. Um, there was a report saying that he will not be undertaking surgery. So I don't know how true that is. And I don't know how far he'll go along with that. But we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's probably it for me for now. This has been Hold the Ball. Um, holding the Ball, Hold the Ball. Uh, I'll see, I'll probably call it Hold the Ball. HTV, it's good to be back. And again, go the Warriors. Take it easy. I'll see you guys next time.